Annyeonghaseyo! Hi everyone, this is Ariel, one half of Soju for two, and this is sort of like a wrap up um, update video for you guys. I posted a video about my um, video of my life for the past two weeks. Uh, check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. But this is just me telling you about everything going on. So the first thing I want to say is I'm really, really sad that DramaCrazy.net has ended. Um, today was, I think, its last day, and I didn't know it was shutting down, but I went to see this morning, and it was shutting down. I was really, really sad. I was like, is it April? Is this April Fool's joke? But it wasn't. Um, so definitely now, I think my go-tos will be EP Drama, Good Drama. There's a few others that I'll be checking out, but the hardest part for me is I can't watch Drama Fever or um, Vicky here. So it was a little bit challenging. I have to find new sites to watch it, and I guess I can start watching things without subtitles. Um, more often, but it is a little bit hard for me um, to watch it without subtitles sometimes, so we'll see, um, but I'm sad about that. Okay, um, other things to tell you guys about, so if you saw my video, I went to Day John for the past two weeks, and I want to tell you a little bit about how Day John feels different to me than Seoul. So, last time I was in Day John was for orientation, so it was cool to go back there in a different mindset. Like, when I first came to Korea, I was excited, everything was new, it was raw, um, I was exhausted, so I think I didn't experience age at all. Um, I experienced the campus that we stayed at and that was it. Um, so it's kind of interesting to go back and sort of see these things and be like, okay, this is what, what happened in my life. Um, but now that I went back this time, I was like, it's a cute little town, but thank God I live in Seoul. Um, I know there's lots of great cities, but for me, Seoul is definitely what where I'm so happy that I'm in Seoul. I'm pretty sure I'll love Busan as well, um, but I need that big city feeling of like, there's clubs and places to dance, and I feel like in Daejeon, a lot of the epic teachers or people there, they really, it's a lot of, it's a bigger bar scene than dancing scene, which doesn't really work for me, so I'm so happy I live in Seoul where there's a million places for me to dance. Because um, I've never really realized how much a huge part of my life dancing is until now that like, I do dance class twice a week, I go clubbing in the weekends, um, I dance four nights a week, so it's definitely very important to me that I find places that I love to dance. So even though Daejeon's a cool city, um, I think it'd be fun if you're into like bars and and um, things like that, like a little bit more low key, but you still have all the convenience of the city. I think Daejeon's awesome, but for me, I'm so happy I live in Seoul. Um, and I don't know, it was, it was so hot this weekend as well. Like we went to Arboretum, which was beautiful, but <sighs> it was so humid I was just dying um, but this weekend it's supposed to be raining and we're going to Busan so I think what's gonna happen we'll probably go to like Shinsuke which is the largest apartment store in the world um, probably the spa things like that it's my friend's birthday so we'll definitely be doing some clubbing and some fun but I think our beach plans will probably be knocked out even though I like going to the beach when it's like rainy and stormy because I love the waves when it's like that but my friends don't so I think we'll be doing other things um, other things that are going on with me, I have a cold right now, if you can't hear and or tell. Um, I don't know why I get summer colds. I get colds all the time. I work with kids, so it's not surprising, but it's so inconvenient. I hate having a cold in the summer, especially when I'm doing dance class and stuff, because I'm like, ugh, I have to go blow my nose and I'm dancing. It's not fun. Um, other things happened. So today I got a haircut. I don't think you can tell because I'm wearing a black shirt, but my hair is shorter. Um, but, like, of course the hairdresser was laughing. He was like... We cut your hair, but it looks exactly the same. Like, story of my life. Doesn't matter what I do, my hair looks exactly the same. Like, people try to give me different styles, but my hair just has one look to it, frankly. Um, then he's like, he put something to make my hair straight. A lot of good that worked. Um, I literally tell every hairstylist, I'm like, don't put anything in my hair. It's not going to work. It'll, no, this is perfect. And then I get home, and it's, like, curly again. Um, and then I also dyed my hair for the first time my entire life last week. My friend Emily did it. And, I don't, know, I don't know if you can tell, it's darker, but it didn't look darker on the box, but sorry my life. Um, and it's a little bit redder, which again, I don't think you can tell in the video. Yeah, I don't think you can tell, but it's a little bit redder. I don't know, I like it. I mean, it's very similar to my natural hair color, it's just a little bit darker. And so that was sort of like a spur of the moment thing. I used Japanese um, hair dye, it was $8 at a convenience store. So I don't know if I was going for like the best quality in my first time doing it, but my friend's like, oh, it'll work. So I did it. Um, so that was fun. And yeah, so I'd say like getting a hair done in Korea is like no big deal because everyone does their hair all the time. Um, every type of like beauty store, like for uh, Face Shop and Misha and Etude House, all those places, they have hair dye as well, but they have the foam dye. Um, and I felt like that was a little bit too simple. So I was like, okay, let's go with this one, even though it was $8, it was nothing. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically everything that's been going on in my life recently, and I will also have videos up for a few drama final reviews. Check those out, and I'll make a video when I'm in Busan. Bye, guys.